Welcome back to Daily DJ, this is Trevsky. I'm taking you on the journey from having no DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. Today, I'm going to be practicing specifically echo transitions because in the past few sets that I've done, I've noticed that a big issue with the transitions that I've been making is because I haven't mastered the echo transitions, the echo effects, and being able to do it at the right point so that it sounds natural and actually good when I fade to the next song. So I think mastering that one technique is going to bring my mixing level to a whole new level. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Progressive Future House playlist that I built. If you want to see more of the playlist that I'm building, feel free to follow my SoundCloud down below or check me out on Spotify and Instagram as well. Okay, see, look, now I figured out that you have to adjust the level knob only to halfway. Previously, I had been doing it to max, so that means the echo is just way blown out of proportion. Like, listen to this. For example, this is half. This is max. So you can probably tell that it sounds very overdone if I do max. So that's one thing that I figured out not to do. I think in general for every transition, I only should go from the minimum to the, to the um, medium here. Let me show you up close. So this is the knob that I use to turn effects on and off. Right now it's at zero, but if I put it to the medium, this is what it sounds like. For the echo effect, this is medium but this is max. So it definitely sounds overcrowded when I do max. So that's one thing I'm gonna change, is when I'm only using effects, I'm gonna only go to the medium level on the knob here. So see, that sounds a little bit better than this. That's one small change that I found out today. One of the main use cases for the echo transition is by jumping BPMs. So for example, if I have a song that's at 128 BPMs and I want to jump to the next song that has 73 BPMs, there's no way for me to beat match because it just won't line up. 73 beats per minute is a lot less than 128 beats per minute, so there's no way to effectively line it up. And I can't even increase the tempo. I can't even increase or decrease the tempos that much to align. So it's best to do a transition, i found, that breaks up the total song and doesn't rely on you syncing the two songs together. So for example, a fade out, an echo, but that's why I'm trying to perfect the echoes today. What? Why is it not going on? Oh my goodness, rookie mistake, rookie mistake. <laughs> so something you always gotta think about is where your knobs are on your dials and everything. This is the fader knob and I had it all the way over to the side. That means playing on, that means playing on this deck. So if I have it all the way over here, that means only this deck is gonna be playing out loud. If I have it over here, only this left deck is going to be playing. I had it over here when I transitioned to this deck, and obviously, because it's not in the middle here, that means only the right one could be heard. So I need to keep this usually in the middle, and then use these two fader knobs to change the volume on each deck. But I had hit this by accident and didn't realize, so that's one thing that I always got to be making sure to check. Also, stuff like this, if the tempo knob is all the way up, if you like accidentally hit it, that means the song could be sped up in unintentionally. Uh, just a lot of buttons that you have to make sure are in the proper positions all the time. That was, that was interesting. 
interesting. It was interesting. Basically what I did was I did the um, echo backspin, I think that's what you call it, on the previous song and then I started the next song with a low filter like this and then I tuned it up. But this was an example of a good BPM jump because it was from the 73 BPM to a 128. Before I continue, huge shout out to my friend Shervin who gave me some feedback on the channel and how to improve the videos I've been making. So I'm going to try and structure it in a way that's more useful to you guys and not just a documentation of everything I've done. Obviously, it is purely a documentary of the things that I've been doing every day, but I want to include more tangible outcomes. For example, more like lessons on what did I learn today? What tips can I take out of this? How can I help you guys to also get interested in DJing and improve your craft as well? So I'm going to be I'm going to be having that in mind while I'm creating these videos and while I'm practicing to really focus on things that I can take out of the practice I've been doing. So hopefully you like that. Please let me know any other ideas you have. As always, love any feedback. Please, please feel free to always comment and hit me up. Thank you, Shervin, again. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, I was putting the echo on, but it was continuing after it had aligned with the echo. Like, you heard that, right? The, um, the first part that I put the echo on, it only lasted very briefly, and then it started echoing another thing. So, which is a problem, because I was meaning to transition out on the first echo part. So let me try doing that again, see how I can fix that. <laughs> Okay, so I think I just need to bring down, I need to bring down the volume of that track that I just echoed and then it won't continue to echo further things. So right after I, I point the echo that I want to fade out on, I have to drag the volume down immediately so that it doesn't start echoing further parts of the song. Okay, that was, that was an interesting echo transition to change out the drops. So basically I echoed out right before the drop of the first song and then raised the volume right at the drop of the song that was coming in. So that was how I kind of used the echoes for a bass drop switch. Hopefully it sounded okay. Okay, take that. That was just a regular fade and then increase the volume of the incoming track. Wait, this is cool. Listen to this. Watch. Basically what I'm doing is putting the effect, the echo up to half and then doing a little spin on the side. Not on the top so it scratches. Like this. Oops. So it's changing the tempo of the track with the with the echo on. Watch. It's different from doing this. Or this. I'm gonna try to echo out this current song while fading in the other song with the filter. Hopefully I can do that many things at once, but let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. That was clean, that was clean. 
Okay, so now I'm going to try echoing on the vocals of a breakdown. Not as a transition, but just to add a little depth and flavor to the track. Okay, I got a, I popped a little transition in there as well, but yeah, I, I want to continue experimenting with the echoes. I think it's important for me to master one of the effects before I move on to all the other ones. Look how many options there are for effects. So I think I need to master one and understand how effects work in general before I move on to the others. So I think echo is a good place to start. Alright guys, I think I made some great progress with echoing today, whether just in the middle of a track or using it to transition. I also played with the filter knob here to help with easing into transitions, making it a little bit clearer. Um, I tried a little bit of backspinning with echoing and, and uh, those types of transitions. But I think in general, um, I'm gonna, like I said, continue going forward to identify very specific areas on a daily basis to tackle and share the learnings and improvements with you. So hopefully you like this style a little bit more. I know it's definitely more helpful for me because now I can actually go back and figure out like if I forgot something, I can relearn it by watching this video. So hopefully I want to get to the point where these, each of these videos can be a lesson for you. So it's not just helping me build my DJ skills, but also showing you how to become a DJ yourself. So yeah, I'm, I'm super satisfied with today. Thank you again, Shervin, for the tips. And I will see you back here again tomorrow. As always, Daily DJ, leave any comments if you have feedback and subscribe. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. This is Trevsky. Have a great night.